Anthony Blair, of course, canceled all civil flights. He also had a, a special emergency cabinet meeting. Uh, they evacuated several large buildings here as well. The, the horrific uh, occurrence in the United States has rippled right across the world. Tony Blair had this statement to make a little bit earlier tonight. I have just chaired an emergency meeting of the British Government's Civil Contingencies Committee, and I would like to explain some of the measures that we have agreed to take here. There are a range of precautionary measures. We have stepped up security at airports to the highest levels. No flights will take off from the United Kingdom, for which we cannot apply the highest standards of security for air crew and passengers. Private flights have been stopped except where specifically authorized. Flight paths into London have been changed so there will be no civil overflights of central London. Security has been increased across the full range of government buildings and military premises. The police across the whole of the UK are on full alert. All our defense facilities around the world have been moved to high alert to ensure the protection of British service personnel. Advice has been given to major financial and business institutions about appropriate security measures. A number of other security measures have been taken and of course we are in close touch with US, European and other allies and are cooperating with them on issues of security. All relevant ministers remain in communication and the committee, the Civil Contingencies Committee, will meet again tomorrow at 8 a.m. Obviously some of these measures, not least the effect upon airports, will lead to some disruption and I hope people understand that. But other than the specific measures we have taken or that we have advised others to take, business and everyday life can continue as normal. As for those that carried out these attacks, there are no adequate words of condemnation. Their barbarism will stand as their shame for all eternity. As I said earlier, this mass terrorism is the new evil in our world. The people who perpetrate it have no regard whatever for the sanctity or value of human life. And we, the democracies of the world, must come together to defeat it and eradicate it. This is not a battle between the United States of America and terrorism, but between the free and democratic world and terrorism. We therefore here in Britain stand shoulder to shoulder with our American friends in this hour of tragedy and we, like them, will not rest until this evil is driven from our world. The British Prime Minister very eloquently put into words what many world leaders are telling both their cabinets and their armed forces. The Germans called this act in America mass murder. The French said it needs to be eradicated. Tom.